Kim is back at it, cooking up another quick little DIY for you on how to test your throttle position sensor for the correct uh, ohms. Um, back, if you haven't seen my previous video, I kind of explained uh, uh, what the TPS is and what it does in the grand scheme of things and the problem I'm ex currently experiencing. And I need to find a way to actually test the throttle position sensor and see if it was, you know, if I have a dirty contact point within. Uh, within this area of the throttle position sensor. So I kind of explained how uh, the wiper blade travels along a contact point and it's in some range, uh, I'm getting a quick little blurp in my system as I'm writing in the 4,000 to 7,000 RPM range and it happens sporadically, it's not always consistent um, uh, on any given day. So what I needed to do was create myself a little test, uh, test tool. Um, if you have the OEM Suzuki uh, GSX-R manual, um, service manual you'll see that they have a test tool in order to test uh, the test sensors out and basically it's just a, a interconnect in between um, these two contact points it's just going to be your OEM harness and your TPS sensor and um, we need to find a way to actually touch these touch our contact points in order to uh, receive a signal so what I've done here is um, I had a, an extra uh, a full on harness that which I purchased off of eBay for a hundred bucks and I technically use that harness for any type of plugs or connectors that I need and I cut myself off the OEM harness now this is the this is the harness on the bike right now and I cut myself off the harness connector which is uh, currently connected to my TPS down there as you can see and um, I got the wire leads all going on here now when you're connecting the just for reference, uh, reference so you guys know, the TPS and the STPS, here's your secondary throttle position sensor, and the TPS, um, the connectors are exactly the same. They're just different colors, and that is just for uh, you know visual reference. You know, um, if you took the connector from the STPS and you connected it to the TPS, it will connect right up. Only difference is the wire is shorter, so that you you can't do that. One's long, one's short, so that you can't reach. You know, you can't put it in the wrong wrong place. So getting back on track on things, what I have here is the um, the throttle position sensor uh, coming from the ECM, and all I basically did was I got some uh, some wire leads and um, stuck some some wires into into there. Let me see if I can show you without dropping it. Okay, and inside here, your wiring colors for the TPS are going to be black uh, with a brown stripe, red, and pink. That's for the throttle position sensor. Now, for the secondary throttle position sensor, the colors in that in this wire harness are what you see right here. They're red, uh, black with a brown stripe, and yellow. Okay, so that's how you tell the difference between between those two. Now, um, I currently have this hooked up right now. Um, for those of you who uh, are looking to do this type of test. Um, and if you have a, happen to ha have a harness connector, um, the yellow wire is going to be your signal wire. So this is going to be your five, your red wire is going to be your five volt uh, input source, and your black wire is going to be your ground, and that's going to the ECM. Um, and this is going the yellow wire is your signal wire. And as I said before, the on the primary throttle position sensor, your pink wire is going to be your signal source. Your red is going to be your uh, your five volt voltage input source and the black is going to be your ground okay now the whole system does require five volts so um, if you're making something that you saw off of um, you might have done some research on how to create your own test tool some people are buying a five volt uh, voltage regulator and um, they're using a nine volt battery um, and you know they're dropping down the nine volt battery voltage to five volts and then you know connecting it to a, a power switch you can do it that way that's not a problem so let's um, let's go back to here so I got this up connected all up now um, I'm testing out the the primary uh, throttle position sensor I got my leads connected up and they're color coded according to uh, how I can identify them my red my ground and this is going to be my signal wire and I pretty much made this because this way because this way I didn't get confused when I was connecting up to my cutoff um, 
connector. So I have this connected up to uh, my positive on my nine volt, uh, I'm sorry, on my uh, multimeter, and I have the ground connected up to the ground on the uh, TPS. Now, if we're looking at the harness, this is basically how it goes. This is gonna be your stock harness. You got your yellow wire on top or your pink wire. And then you got your, oh, I just lost it. Give me one second. Okay, you got your wire, yellow wire on top. You got, or your pink wire if you're, if you're testing the, the primary. Yellow if you're testing the secondary. You got your five volt voltage in source, uh, voltage input, and you got your ground. And that's how it connects to your throttle position sensors. That's both TPS and STPS, okay? So pay attention to that. And uh, for those of you who need a quick reference guide, there's one I drew one out for you guys right there. Okay, so with this test, um, with no power on right now, um, key is off, we are reading 1.8 volts. Now the range, uh, the starting range for the TPS, which I've read uh, on a few forms and whatnot, is anywhere from uh, 1.4 to 1.8, so it looks like we're right on specs with other, with other people have. And with this test, all we're gonna basically do is roll back on the throttle very, very slowly and watch these numbers increase, okay, because we're increasing resistance. So uh, with that said, as I, as I explained earlier in another video, uh, we're, tasting, we're taking the uh, mechanical and we're turning it into an electromechanical signal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly roll back and these numbers should move or should increment very slowly and evenly across. So we got 1.8, we're gonna go 1.9, uh, then we go 2, 2.1, and well, you get the rest. If we get a skip anywhere in between those numbers, um, let's say it was 2.5 and we went just jumped to 2.7, well, what happened to 2.5 or 2.6? Then we know we have a dirty comp contact point within our TPS, and that's how we diagnose that issue. So I'm gonna roll back on the throttle real quick, and you can watch these numbers increase. And it's it's very very slowly that I'm increasing this. I'm rolling back on this throttle. And I want to see if I can get those numbers to roll evenly all the way through. Okay. All right, and 4.8 is the, the maximum um, that these, this TPS can go, so 4.8. Now, you're going to perform this test a couple of times, and like I said, um, as I'm experiencing this problem, I don't get it all the time, and um, it, it happens randomly. It depends on how hard I roll back on the throttle. Maybe the vibration uh, is causing... That, that blade to move around, I'm not quite sure on that, but at any rate, you're gonna roll back on the throttle a couple times, you can do this test over and over again until you see if it, it does actually skip. Okay, so right there we skipped seven. Okay, but that could be because you just rolled past it too fast. But at any rate, we always want to make sure that it moves up in increments, even increments. Okay. Let's try it again. Yeah. And you're going to keep doing this and see where exactly is it skipping at. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Back at 1.9. Oh, it skipped seven right there. So. You can see from right there that you know we got we do have a few um, points that we are missing, but like I said, you're gonna keep performing this test over and over again until you actually get um, to see if you can actually get a smooth transition through all those numbers. Now, um, just because it skipped the number doesn't mean that it, it is bad. It just means that you might have just rolled back on a point where, or you just didn't roll, you rolled too fast and you skipped that number to where the computer couldn't or the um, the machine couldn't recognize um, that point. It just might have rolled by, by it too quick. So, and that's why you keep performing this test over and over and over again to see if it works. Um, so, I hope that kind of helped you out there. If you are experiencing uh, TPS issues, this test can be performed on both the throttle uh, position sensor and the secondary throttle position sensor if you're testing for the proper um, proper ohms. So, um, there's also a Volsius test that you can do, and I'm not going to quite do that right now because uh, I've already tested this about four or five times and um, I did have a, a I did have a few uh, skips in a few areas 
and somewhere in the range of 3.2 to 3.7 or 8 um, I keep getting skips in that general area so what I'm gonna do is uh, I went ahead and purchased myself a new throttle position sensor off of eBay got it for 35 bucks can't go wrong what a deal and I'm gonna slap that on there and see if that alleviates my problem so at any rate guys I hope this helped you out hit like don't forget to subscribe um, and as always I'll see you next problem